I'm going to take us to the second critical choice. The second critical mm-hmm. choice I made was to commit to a two-way agreement. And now I committed to a two-way agreement with my sister. This is way back when. But when I reflect on the construct of a two-way agreement is when two people come together or two parties come together, two entities come together with the with the mutual objective of with the objective of a mutually beneficial outcome. You know, it's for us both. And we construct it and we commit to it. Well, how about this? The power is when we commit to it. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah, don't yeah. always commit to it. But I am curious, and I bet I see a thread here that is there a two way agreement in your life that you have entered into that in reflecting, you're like, this is what I gave, this is what I got. And what happened when you committed to it? Yeah, so my commitment's actually happening right now. That's like me and my mom decided to run a full marathon in December. So that's like a commitment I'm working on every single day. We committed to this back in like, I want to say like June or something like that. Um, And I'm a new runner. I've only been running really for the past like two years I've taken it up. Um, And my mom has literally ran forever. Forever. I mean, we used to literally MG solve the world's problems. When we were running together. Well, yeah. Yeah. My mom's insane. Like, yeah. with her running. She's crazy. She's so fast. Um, but I've watched my mom since I was little, like, accomplish so much personal, like, satisfaction and success through her running. Um, so, like, I wanted to try it out and see kind of what it was all about. And then I've, you know, been on this journey for the past two years doing, like, running consistently. Um and I love challenges in my life. I love trying new things. It's I get bored really easily um, with like things that I do, you know, you know, hobbies and stuff like that. So I was just kind of like fooling around one day and I was like, mom, like, what if we just did it? Like, what if I just did one with you or ran a, ran a full marathon with you? Um, and she's like, OK, like we can do that. But you just, you got have to train. Like, it's going to be a little intense. I was like, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've done intense things before. Like, it's fine. Um, And now we're kind of getting into the nitty gritty, like the marathons in like two months. So right. it's getting pretty intense now. Um, And I'm dreading it a little bit, like the long runs that we have on Saturdays. Um, but What's your I, long run this Saturday? This Saturday's only 10. We did we did a half last weekend. Okay. But every time I go out, I like dread it. I get so scared to do it because it's some like I keep running distances farther and farther than I've ever ran before. So I'm like, uh, can I actually do this? Like you have to find like the trust in yourself. But mm-hmm. I have to remind myself, and my mom reminds me too, like it I get to do this. Like I get to run. I like my body is able to do this and I'm so grateful for this. Um, and yeah, just like thinking about that mindset instead of like, <laughs> be like, I have to run this weekend. Like I don't want to do it, but it's like, I actually get to, and it's like mm-hmm. one of the coolest things and one of the greatest highs I've ever like felt is, you know, running and that satisfaction of like, Oh, I did it. So. And you're going to rock it. Thanks. And you're, and you're- training with your mom but you guys don't always run together for your training run no I run during the week on my own which is good yeah right you do it on your own but then you have that commitment with your mom and with yourself oh yeah like that accountability if you will yeah if she wasn't there on the weekends I'd be like oh maybe I'll take this weekend off (laughs) maybe I'll do a Saturday like just rest yeah no yeah and and you've answered this, like how it feels to commit yeah. to this agreement with your mom, y- you know, like it just, and it continues to push you. Oh, it does. It does. Like there's no half-assing it. Like you gotta go full in or you're gonna like, you're gonna struggle yeah. at the, you know, the end on the real full marathon and be like, oh, I wish I just did that. Like, I wish I just committed a little bit more and it would have felt a little bit better. That's I, think, 
I think that is totally a mantra for life. It is. Like, seriously. Yeah. If you put in the work, how, what are you going to, you can't accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. No. No. You're going right, to well, yeah, you go on. Put in. No, you get you get out what you get, like put in. Thank you for joining me for our Choose and Become interview series. You could find this episode and others at trishkendall.com. Just go to trishkendall.com backslash choose dash become dash interview dash series. Or if you have a question or just want to leave a comment, email me, trish at trishkendall.com.